Seaweeds, formerly known as macroalgae, are further divided into three main groups. We have the green seaweeds, such as this ulva or sea lettuce. We have the red seaweeds, such as this Pacific dulse, Palmaria mollus, and the beautiful rainbow seaweed, Mazaella splendens. And we have the brown seaweeds, which includes all kelps, such as Alaria marginata, or winged kelp, Egregia menziesi, or feather boa, and floating kelps such as bull kelp. Hi, my name's Amanda Swinimer. Welcome to my wild seaweed garden. I'm standing on the west coast of Vancouver Island in British Columbia, Canada. Here we have an estimated 640 species of seaweed, which is the greatest cold water seaweed diversity on the planet. We have 30 species of kelp, which is more than anywhere else in the world. Seaweeds belong to an incredibly large and diverse group of organisms called algae which range from microscopic photosynthesizing bacteria-like organisms all the way up to kelps that are the size of large trees. Algae, which all photosynthesize, produce an estimated half with some estimates as high as 80% of our global oxygen. They are the primary producers of the largest ecosystem on earth, the ocean, feeding everything from the tiny zooplankton all the way up to the mighty orca. I harvest edible seaweeds, which I sell direct to chefs and direct to customers. I've been harvesting in this relatively small wild seaweed garden for the last two decades. Seaweeds are among the fastest growing organisms on the planet. And if they're harvested properly, leaving the reproductive structures intact and harvesting by pruning, ensuring that a generous portion of the seaweed is left attached to the rock then it can be done very sustainably. In fact, I can harvest multiple times from the same individual seaweed in a single season. This seaweed garden, where I've been harvesting my Elaria marginata as well as other species for two decades now, has an incredible diversity of seaweeds, including many that you can eat. This pretty rusty red seaweed is called Pacific Dulse. It's different from the Atlantic Dulse. It's the same genus Palmaria, but it's Palmaria mollis, whereas the Atlantic Dulse is Palmaria palmata. Mm, delicious. Another great edible species of seaweed is the sea lettuce, this bright green seaweed. Notice how I leave quite a bit of it attached and then cut. Sea lettuce is a very delicate seaweed with a very pungent flavor. Mm. Kelp forests are one of the most productive ecosystems in the world. Kelps are brown algae belonging to the order Laminarials. They are the largest seaweeds and are primary producer for the highly productive kelp forest ecosystem. Kelps also provide structure to an ecosystem which provides habitat for thousands of species across multiple phyla. They act as a nursery to many species of fish and invertebrates. Kelp forests also sequester large amounts of carbon dioxide and produce large amounts of oxygen. Where I live and harvest, in the Pacific Northwest, the two canopy forming species of our kelp forests are the largest species on the planet. Macrocystis pyrifera, commonly known as giant kelp, and Nereocystis lutkiana, commonly known as bull kelp. 
help forest ecosystems grow in temperate coastal waters across the globe and are decreasing at an estimated rate of 2% per year. Phycologists' research points to warming ocean temperatures as the most significant driver of this global decline. Other factors include marine heat waves, pollution, harvesting, fishing, and natural factors such as storms. To harvest bull kelp, I suit up in a five millimeter wetsuit with hood, gloves, and booties, mask, fins, and snorkel, a folding knife, and a heavy duty mesh bag with shoulder straps. I snorkel offshore a few hundred meters. I harvest only the blades of the bull kelp. If you cut the tube-like stipe of the bull kelp, the seaweed will not regrow. If you leave a minimum of 30 centimeters of blade attached to the stipe, the seaweed will regenerate. Bull kelp is one of the fastest growing organisms on the planet, and I can harvest multiple times in a season from the same individual bull kelp. Once I have harvested half the blades from about five individual bull kelps, I swim back to shore, remove my fins in shallow water, and carefully walk onto the shore with my heavy load on my back. From there, I use a wheelbarrow to bring the seaweed back to my drying space. Inside, I hang each piece from cedar racks and gently dry using a dehumidifier, ventilation system, and fans. Once dried, I sell to chefs and people passionate about slow food values. Good, clean, and fair. <laughs>